Zambia has taken significant steps to ensure that the commitment towards ending hunger is achieved. As you may be aware, the Food and Nutrition Act number no. three of 2020 places the responsibility of driving the food and nutrition agenda in my office with support from a committee of permanent secretaries chaired by cabinet office, literally secretary to the cabinet. Today's meeting presents an opportunity for government, private sector, non-government organizations, and civil society organizations, industry associations, media houses, and members of the public to unite in promoting food and nutrition security and the sustainable growth of our agri-food systems. Even more worrying is the severity and frequency of the occurrences of prolonged dry spills and floods. Sadly, evidence shows that Zambia will continue to experience severe impacts of climate change, just like any other countries in the Southern African region. Madam Vice President, with this reflection, as we mark these years World Food Day held under the theme, leaving no one behind, better production, better nutrition, a better environment and a better future, a better life, we are all reminded once again that the journey to a food and nutrition secure Zambia is long and challenging and that we need to take an inclusive food systems approach. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.